vez que usaron esta belleza del lugar. Si tiene gas, indaga, averigua. Averigua. The pyramid, dude. Very awesome. Hell yeah. So I'm noticing the architecture here is like that uh, El Mecca, El Mecca uh, ruin, where they put. I mean, there's probably some big stones underneath there. I would guess. But then it's a bunch of uh, smaller stones that they covered over with bigger stones for the exterior finish. Huh. The wide angle there. If only we could go up there and <laughs> go to the top. Actually, uh, someone did that recently. I'll, uh, I'll put in the footage. It was pretty funny. It's just so massive, dude. It's crazy to behold in person, like, the uh, footage here. I cannot fully do it justice, you know what I mean? Ooh, let's go to the other side where it's more preserved. It is interesting, though, why that side is worn down, like, considerably, and then this side is, like, totally fine. I wonder if that has something to do with, like, uh, I don't know, um, what could do that? Water erosion? Is this place underwater at some point? Who knows? It looks even more impressive when it's all like assembled. <laughs> Whoa, dude, it's so crazy. All this moronic clapping going on because I think uh, that you can hear it with the um, the acoustics, because they're so weird. <laughs> I don't blame them for wanting to try it, but it's annoying when everybody's doing it all at once, you know? <laughs> Let's go check out some of the other buildings around these here parts, like this one over here. Hold on a sec though, what is this? So, um, is that where the actual ground level was then? Or what is this? Hmm. So Google says this is El Templo de los Gueros. Looks like it must have been a massive place too. You can see these columns obviously were like holding up a roof or something. And now they are not. Also, it's kind of a pyramid structure too. Man, I wish you could go up there <laughs> and walk amongst it. Actually though, I think you can sort of walk amongst it over there. Just not to climb up on anything. Damn. <laughs>
Wow, that's a ton of columns. Amazing. <laughs> Even more columns over here. Whoa. What a structure. Like, what? <laughs> I mean, it's almost as impressive as the pyramid, you know? Just because of the complexity of the design and the, the scale of it, it's just like, whoa, man. Ain't seen nothing like this before. <laughs> so, I was reading about it and it was saying how, um, I guess this city came about around like 600 AD or something like that and it was reaching its peak in the 980s. It was like a, considered basically sort of like a capital city almost of the Mayans. Um, I don't know if it was exactly a capital, but it was a large city basically. Um, and then things started falling apart when the Spaniards showed up on the scene. <laughs> in the 1500s, they started uh, conquering the Yucatan Peninsula. And that's when they came through here and ransacked the place. When they say looted and ransacked, I feel like uh, this is that and then some, you know? <laughs> so, I don't know. Also, another fun fact is um, in the Wikipedia thing, they said this was used as a cattle ranch <laughs> after the Spaniards took it over. So that's kind of funny. Like, ooh, look at these nice buildings. Let's just... Uh, Use this as a ranch. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Crazy. It's definitely a pretty substantial pile of rocks over here. Something up there too. Looks like a column. So I wonder if something is buried here underneath all that mess. Quite a complex. So that mound over there, I guess, is like right here. Hmm. Got a uh, altar up there. Look at the design on that. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Doing a real big sacrifice up in here. So it says they don't quite know what this is, according to that plaque call it El Mercado, which uh, I believe means market or something. Yeah, even though there's all this erosion and damage here, what is amazing is that there's anything left of it. <laughs> Meanwhile, you got buildings in Detroit just crumbling to the ground and they were only built like 50 years ago or something like that. And then here you have uh, a city that was built a thousand years ago. <laughs> Still standing. I don't know why we don't build more things out of uh, stone, you know? It's almost like it lasts forever. <laughs> Looks like a new excavation is happening over here. Hmm. Wow, that looks uh, pretty pristine. Same bro, same. <laughs> Imagine working here, that'd be crazy. I mean, if this was as big of a city as they're saying, then like, there's gotta be, um, you know, probably a bunch of huts, you know? Because let's assume how we saw how the other sites, there was like, these were built for the elite and stuff like that, or like general population purposes. So, you know, if they built their grandest buildings like this, then it's like, 
probably the peasants were living in a bunch of huts <laughs> at least you know so probably the city was like way huger than than uh, we see here today just because of the disintegrating material that those huts were probably made of just evaporated basically back into the forest and the only thing that remains is these grand buildings hmm. Yeah, so I imagine a lot of the <clears throat> a lot of the surrounding areas, huts and peasant houses look like these. It's just mud and uh, clay. And... Can we walk in there? Let's see. Oh yeah. Probably just like lit this stuff on fire and called it a day, the Spaniards did. <laughs> Apparently, uh, I'll try to get a better shot of it, but these are the ball courts, some sort of uh, Mesoamerican uh, ball game, as Wikipedia says. <laughs> Uh, and I believe I've heard of this before too. It, it was kind of like, I guess, dodgeball y or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, said the ball could weigh as much as like nine pounds. <laughs> so that sounds like it would hurt. I don't know. Um, and then also something to do with uh, ritual sacrifice, possibly. So very cool. I'm guessing if you're the uh, losers, you get sacrificed. <laughs> Wild. I'm not sure about that, but I'm guessing that's how it works. That's how I would run the game. I know if I was doing it, I'd be like, you lose, sacrifice. <laughs> wow, this is very cool. I used to play ball games up in here. Ooh, look at that. Now that is cool. You can just see... Uh, the ruler up there being like, you lose, sacrifice. <laughs> I got your uh, serpent iconography. There's a uh, serpent that can be seen running down the, uh, the main pyramid there at certain hours of the day where it looks like the shadow is wavy like a serpent. But yeah, look at the carvings on this. Whoa, impressive. missing panels again <laughs> probably that <laughs> used to be the panels <laughs> I don't know or like looters it was saying that uh, some some uh, dudes that were excavating this place back in the day in like the 18 and 19 hundreds um, possibly made away with some of the stuff and uh, I wouldn't blame them <laughs> you know very tempting Oh, no, actually, so maybe that's like the referee's hut. I bet that is where the, the king man whatever lived. Let me see if I can get a closer shot of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet uh, that's that tarp gets out of the way. I don't know. <laughs> I bet that you can see the, the throne, you know? Just imagine it being up there. Dude sitting on, like, some... Some beast mode drone looking at his game. Like, yes, peasants fight, fight, fight to the death, potentially. <laughs> some gladiator type stuff going on. Yeah, oh, here we go. That is good that they're trying to like restore it a little bit, you know? Some upkeep. What a, what a grand court though. They really gave a big stink about this <laughs> game, you know? Like kind of uh, evocative of our modern stadiums today, just on a much smaller scale. So I just realized something looking at this. Wow. Where did everybody else sit when watching this? <laughs> uh, 
I think they sat maybe up there on the top or where there's um well there's really no room for like bleachers though I don't get it or were they like down at that end looking at it seems like there's not a lot of room for spectators either way though if I'm thinking about it but I don't know maybe there weren't many spectators uh, I don't know so I like to think about it myself rather than just accept what I'm told. <laughs> Exhibit A of that is how you don't see me with the tour clapping my hand like like a maniac. <laughs> I do my own thing. I am a solo adventurer. Yeah, we, uh, we come to these places by ourselves so that we can learn about it while thinking about it and seeing it for our own eyes. Man, that is so cool though. <laughs> hey, I really want to go up there and just look down on this place and be like, peasants! <laughs> Play ball for me. Yeah, here's another uh, more complete looking panel. And doesn't that, doesn't that look Sumerian? I mean, I won't, I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying it looks very similar type of design work. Speaking of Sumerian, we will have to go over to Iraq and stuff someday to see all that stuff. The, the uh, ziggurat uh, of, I uh, can't remember what it's called. The ziggurat of Ur. Um, Ur is one of the oldest cities in um, Mesopotamia. So yeah, we'll have to go there at some point. Modern day Iraq. Could be tricky. Like that. <laughs> but yeah. Gotta see uh, what there is to see over there before, you know, ISIS or ISIS 2, whatever, comes along and messes it all up. <laughs> uh, I am very against destroying history. <laughs> uh, you know that they built hotels, like, over here? Like, beyond the, the pyramid over there like it's not like immediately on these grounds but it's it's so close that it's like that would not fly today <laughs> they built it back in in the 30s the 1930s americans did of course yeah uh, we were very involved in the excavation of this site uh which is pretty sus to me <laughs> they're like ooh. What kind of uh, stuff do we not want everybody else to know about that's here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and then we're like, and then we'll capitalize it. I wouldn't be surprised if we we're still getting some kickback from like the tourism of this place. Hmm. I wonder if that was the sacrificing stone. <laughs> Put your uh, face on this and chop, chop. This does look like where it would happen, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm not saying, but I'm saying, it's my guess. The purpose of this was to show off the skulls of the enemy players. <laughs> so yeah, I bet they were like, you know, chop and then bring over here and mount on a stake or something. <laughs> Savage. That is cool. They're very into the jaguars here. Apparently there actually are jaguars in this area, which is wild to think about. <laughs> but they're just not like here because of all the people. But I mean, there are jaguars in these parts. Interesting. So here we have another pyramid. I believe it's called Osario. No top on it. Yeah, look at that snake coming down. So cool. So it says here that this um, pillar thing was uh, depicting the gods, and it used to be one of 16 on top of that. So here we have a much more um, less intact <laughs> ruin said these this is the house of the grinding stones or something um they think that uh it was here where the caretakers of 
that uh, pyramid lived and worked and stuff. Definitely would seem to be something of the case because the, uh, the lesser quality, I guess it looked like to me, only slightly lesser quality of the building construction and probably I'm guessing, you know, maybe this had like a uh, straw roof or something. Maybe, you know, the foundation was just stone, but then it was like uh, wood or something and then straw roof. And that's why only the foundation remains. Again, don't take my word for this. I'm just guessing, but that's what I would say probably is uh, what this place was. Looks like we got some more excavation going on here. Oh, they're rebuilding that whole section. Hmm. How do they know they're doing it the right way? <laughs> Man, I wish we could go in here and see what's up with this building, but rip, we cannot. Well, now this is a much grander structure over here. Ooh, that's crazy. I think this is like the observatory or something. Whoa. I'm gonna get a better look and head further back. So yeah, they were saying on the plaque that this was, they think, a astronomically utilized structure where they were like observing equinoxes and e yeah, equinoxes and uh, observing the paths of stars and stuff like that. So very cool. You know, this would almost make a really badass concert venue. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking right now. Like imagine, like. Your band is up there on the stage and then everybody else is, you know, back here and stuff. It's like, yeah, Rammstein's playing up there. Du, du hast. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. You know, what I've realized walking around here is that uh, this is a much bigger place than I thought. <laughs> like, it's actually like a huge complex of other buildings and stuff. And speaking of other buildings, there's there's a hell of an other building right there. Whoa. <laughs> like, um, like, this is a big place, dog. Instructions, though. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe it wasn't like wind or 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 water or cannonballs or who knows what else that wrecked these. Maybe it was just terrible construction. <laughs> because, like, look at look at that. It's just big bricks sitting on top of little bricks. Like, what was holding it together? Like clay. What is holding it together right now? <laughs> the carvings are just so cool. Wow. So you see there is an interior section right there. And uh, what's interesting is that part. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's like a finer sand or something that they put in there to hold it together. right there.
This must have been like a important people uh, spots over here. <laughs> so it says uh, the nunnery complex is complemented by two patios with Puic style buildings probably inhabited inhabited by nobility or members of a high social class. Yeah, it's just that saying, no. Looks like it. As well as a ball court decorated with reliefs featuring players on the east, northeast, and south sides. Yeah, my phone keeps cutting out because I'm guessing it's overheating. It is a little bit toasty out today. <laughs> Here we have another pile of uh, rubble <laughs> that used to be a temple. Now that looks like Indiana Jones stuff right there. So yeah, apparently this whole place used to be absolutely completely overgrown with stuff like even the main temple over there is just like uneven ground too and just like covered with all kinds of vegetation. They had to like pick it all out and stuff. This they haven't got to yet, it looks like. It looks pretty cool like this, I won't lie. <laughs> even though you can't even tell what you're looking at right now. <laughs> that thing just fell apart. Well, my closing thoughts on the erosion anyway, is that probably part of it was due to people walking up and down it for years when you used to be able to do that. <laughs> I don't think that was all it though, but that was probably part of it for sure. So that's the serpent, that shadow. Comes down. Well, at least it's supposed to be more pronounced, but it's, it's not quite the right time of day. But you can see how it would kind of look like that. Well, closing thoughts are that that was one hell of an experience and uh, very memorable for sure. What a place, it's so cool. <laughs> Much huge, wow. Uh, very unique for sure. Yeah, um, I know I showed a lot in this video, but uh, if you have a chance to come here, I highly recommend it because it's way different in person, you know, when you can see how big these structures are, it really puts it into perspective, you know. <laughs> All right, well, that's all for now. Peace. Hmm, bonus footage. I thought I was leaving, but apparently we have this. So apparently this is Cenot Sagrado di Chichen Itza. And uh, it's a sinkhole that um, they used to offer sacrifices to the rain god in. You know, like they threw bodies in here and uh, jewelry and all kinds of interesting stuff <laughs> so pretty interesting mm, yeah you can see how this would be like a platform that they walk out to and then just chuck them off the edge lizard
leave here without trying the local pizza? Ha! No, sir. <laughs> what a place, too. Look at this. I've been wanting to try this place for uh, a few days now, but they're only open like at night, so. Alright, let's try this out and see what we think. It's like a three meat pizza or something. Oh. Damn, that is good. <laughs> some of the best pizza I think I've ever had. <laughs> Probably top 10 maybe. Yeah, uh, the place is called Pizzeria Frontini Cancun. <laughs> uh, definitely, if you're here, you should try it out because oh, wow, uh, that was good. <laughs> and now we are walking back to the place because I don't want to have to buy another cab again when we gotta buy a cab tomorrow to go to the airport. So, yeah, get one last good walk in and uh, call it a night. And that's probably the end of the adventure because I don't think I'll film any more tomorrow. So, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, there will be more adventures like this in the future. I don't know about like how many other country ones we'll do in the near near future but we'll definitely do some some u.s trips coming up soon so stay tuned for that all right everyone peace <laughs>